it's always difficult to look forward and to uh, uh, imagine what the next uh, most important thing is. But let me tell you, I'm happy that we've made or overcome, let's say, the first digital revolution. And we can get past uh, problems of visualization and even the problems of, of uh, building. Um, so we can assume that to some degree. I'd also like to think that we can get around the hurdle of sustainability with some ease. The notion that uh, problems of sustainability can be assumed in the same way that uh, railing heights and other codes may be assumed in architecture. These, are, these don't have intellectual stakes. They are merely part of the technical infrastructure uh, that we have to, to deal with. The question, I guess, that looms for me right now is with the accessibility to design to the larger masses, with our ability to communicate and uh, see works across the continents, uh, across the age groups, with our ability to publish ourselves uh, from a blog to a site to a book to a magazine. Uh, how is it that questions of criticism gauge in the future education of the architect? What is a critical inquiry? And secondly, to what degree are we able to overcome our fascination with monocular projects? projects that are only invested in sustainability or projects that are only invested in geometry. How is it that we can imagine works of architecture that deal with the problem of integration or synthesis without the kind of overarching philosophies that we've inherited from the fosters and the pianos? How do we deal with the exceptionality of the synthetic moment in inventive ways? Uh, and that, that, I think, will uh, separate uh, the great architects from the masses. Mm -hmm.